I'm Katie LeClaire, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. Good, how are you? Good, grateful to be here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what is your involvement with Celebrity Connected? Oh, um, well, I was invited, and I'm just, you know, it's Oscar weekend, so I'm looking forward to um, meeting some new people and saying hey to some old friends, and yeah. Amazing. And so about the Oscars, how do you feel about it? Who do you think is going to win? Oh, I, I love the Oscars. I, I feel like, um, for me, my favorite movie this year was Moonlight. Um, just a really great story about, you know, finding your true self and staying with that trueness. So, yeah. That's great. So we do know you from Switched Up Bear. Yeah! We also know that this is the last season, the last episode. How do you feel about it? What have you learned? in that show over the years. How does it feel to have been on it for so long? Oh man, I'm so grateful for Switch to Birth. I, I truly feel like I grew up on that show. Um, we we were a family off screen and on screen for five years and uh, it's been about a year since we shot the last episode. So it's been really interesting and really great to be able to keep in touch with people outside of work as well. And um, you know, as a, as a fan of the show, the final episodes are truly what I would have wanted as, as a fan. Like especially the finale episode is just the perfect bow. And so you have been on that show for such a long time. What can you say you have learned the most about your character and being your character? Um, I really love Daphne. She's strong in her convictions. She never make excu makes excuses. Um, you know, she's deaf, but that's never the first thing that she identifies with. You know, she's a student. She's a woman. She's a, she's an advocate. You know, all of these things come before her disability. And I feel like we all have reasons that maybe it's a, a easier way to say, well, I couldn't do this because of, and, and that's never out of Daphne's mouth. So that's something I hold dear to and try to remember for myself. <laughs> do you think she's like rubbed off on you now? Like sure. some of your weaknesses now you think, well, I'm not going to let them define you. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, like when I was a kid, I hated that my hands were big. Like I have large hands. I do. I have my dad's hands. And, and it was this thing that I was always self-conscious about, but then I learned sign language. And I'm like, you know what? My giant, enormous hands make the language easier to understand. So if you can frame it in the right way, you can, you can always find something positive. There's always a silver lining. Sometimes it's harder to find it than others, but if you look for it, it's always there. Definitely. Well, that's great. What are some of your favorite brands, and how would you define your fashion sense? Ooh, fashion sense, um, comfortable. Yeah. I, I think comfort is very important. I'm, I'm a sneakerhead, for sure. So. Um, Adidas and Jordan are, you know, Nike in general, but uh, I, I definitely look for my outfit starts with my shoes every single time. It's a great way to start now. <laughs> the bet. <laughs> well, and typically they're comfortable shoes. I'm like, should I wear heels to this thing today? I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna wear sneakers. I'm gonna keep it real. That's what you've done today. I wish I wish we could see it on camera. We are select secrets. Can you share with us like a fun fact, a hidden talent, something that not many people know about you? Yeah. Um, I can slack line. So you like between two trees or two poles and they, they put like a it's maybe about this thick and you just like tightrope walk essentially, but it's it's wider than that. I'm not very I mean, like in circus. Yes, kind of like a circus. I'm only like two, a foot and a half off the ground and it's really wide, but like I'm learning. But it's still amazing. So okay. you, ha you have amazing balance. <laughs> um, and I do, and I had to, that's another thing, like I had to, uh, so Meniere's disease gives you terrible balance. So my lovely husband thought, you know, like this would be an exercise that would help me with that. And and it really has. So I'm, I'm really grateful for it. I'm not good at it, to be fair. I can really only take- You're like, improving. I'm improving. I'm, there's progress made, but there's progress still to be made. <laughs> well, practice makes perfect. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And when it gets warmer, I feel like I'm going to hit that like every day. It's going to be great.